This video is about the osteochondroma, also called osteocartilaginous exostosis. It is the most common benign bone tumor with bar variable size and solid terrain in most of the cases. It is typically located at the metaphysis of long bones. It can be pedunculated or sessile, but you always find a continuous cortex and marrow from the underlying bone. It has a cartilaginous cap and sometimes you find calcifications at the chondroosseous portion. It is mostly discovered in the first three decades and after skeletal maturation, the tumor will stop growing. Here you have an example of an osteochondroma with a continuous cortex as well as marrow from the parent bone. Better may be seen on this exo view. Again, here is another example. You see the continuous cortex to this lesion. Here you have a CT scan. Again, can be very well seen. With an MRI scan, you can better evaluate the cartilaginous cap here with a very bright signal, the PD and T2 sequence. Also, you can very well see the low signal of the cortex and the marrow signal, which is continuous. Another example with a bright cartilaginous cap sitting on top of this lesion after contrast injection, you don't see any enhancement. In most cases, the tumor is asymptomatic and only when very large or situated at an end favorable location, it can cause nerve or vascular compression or pressure erosions of the adjacent bone. Also in case of fracture or inflammation of the borsa above the cartilaginous cap, a new pain can occur. Very seldom, in less than 1%, there is a possibility of a malignant transformation. A sign for a malignant transformation is a cartilaginous cap thicker than 2 cm, as well as calcifications within the cartilaginous cap. Only in case of hereditary multiple exostosis, the chance of malignant transformation is, is as high as 10%, especially if located in the shoulder or pelvis region. It is not possible to identify the continuous cortex and medullary cavity on a conventional radiograph. You might consider differential diagnosis like peri- or parostal osteosarcoma or myositis ossificans. In this case, a CT scan should follow in order to clarify the diagnosis. If there are no signs of malignant transformations like new onset of pain that can't be explained by fracture or bursitis, a thickened cartilage cap or calcifications within the cap there is no need for surgical resection unless there are complaints due to irritation of adjacent structures. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, it would be great if you shared, liked or commented it. You are welcome to subscribe my channel for free. Just click here. If you want to watch another of my videos, click here. If you want to go directly to my channel, click here.